and there's a countdown ticker that says, you know, this product is half off, but only if you order it in the next two and a half minutes. And all of these little, you know, hacks and tricks to try and, you know, coerce people into buying something is really just the the wrong approach. And so it, it stems from two things. One, like I mentioned before, you're just trying to get as many people to to, to convert as possible, which I which I certainly understand. But it also stems from the fact that people that work on their stores tend to not actually view their stores as a user all that often. Um, so what I really recommend a lot of people do is take out your phone, turn off your Wi-Fi, open a private browser window or an incognito browser window, and shop your store on a, on a relatively slow internet connection. That is how a lot of people are looking at your store. And if you're getting frustrated with the pop-ups and with the slide outs and with the inability to find the information, then your users are probably 10 times more, <laughs> more bothered by that. So I really think that everyone should be using their store as closely as they can like a customer. 